Welcome to another Fountain Pen Day review. Today's review is going to be of the Aurora Talentum Classic. This pen comes in the case you see. Very nice. Faux leather. Faux leather. It smells like faux leather. Um, typical um, Aurora case. Very nice. Sturdy. Thick walled. Soft inside. Um, you can see it's got the Aurora logo. <clears throat> Since 1919, made in Italy, in English, and in Italian. This version you see is the 14 karat uh, gold version. Underneath, pull the tab. Underneath, you have an instruction booklet and two international style carts. This is a not a piston filler, so it takes carts or a converter. It does indeed come with a converter. So let's take this out and let you get a closer look. We'll start with the end cap. It's done in a very nice high polish. Flows right into the uh, classic Aurora clip, which is excellent. Love this clip very much. So easy to just grab, pull back. It's got a lot of spring to it, so it holds. Very nice styling. It's got the larger ball shape on it clips really easily. Moving down to the uh, center band you have, it says Aurora. And on the back side, Italy. Deep black resin. And then your end cap also catches fingerprints. But uh, you can see it's really, really highly polished. This is a screw cap. It takes not even a turn to take off. Cap's not too heavy. And we'll get a look at that nib. This is a 14 karat gold nib with beautiful classic Aurora etching. I love the etching that they do on their nibs. It's really pretty, very tastefully done. It really stands out too. You can see right in the center it says 14 karat. This one, the uh, feed, the feeds are plastic. Um, almost looks like it has a reddish tinge to it. The section is very nice where you have a uh, you have the gold band right before the threading for the cap and it the way you you sit your hand I mean I put my finger right onto the threads and I don't even notice them they're not sharp at all. The step up to the body is minimal um, so it, it retains that very classic shape that it has. Pretty pen, well balanced. Uh, again, cartridge converter. And it comes with one, just standard. Very nice, beautiful, beautiful pen. Posts, pretty deep. And the cap stays on nicely, very nicely. It doesn't uh, rattle around at all. So you have a good feel for it. It doesn't make it back heavy. A little bit, a little bit back heavy, but not tremendously. And some people like it to be weighted a little bit in the back, the way it, it rests in your hand, so you have it. Um, but this pen is larger, so you can use it unposted. I can use it unposted, so most people will be using it unposted without any issue at all. Again, this is the gold version. There is also a chrome version. Chrome version is in the same classic black resin. It is really pretty. I like this version a lot. But again, if you like, if you want the gold on black or the <clears throat> or the chrome on black, you've got your choice here. Um, the nib is rhodium plated, 14 karat gold. Make sure we focus. Same beautiful nib. You can really see the etching on this one well, too. This one, the feed looks even redder. Same trim ring right above, right below the thread, sorry. And really nice, I love the look of the pen. Good weight to it. Not too heavy at all. And again, your converter is inside.
Now, Brian Kenro was kind enough to not only let me try out those two fountain pens, but he also uh, gave me a rollerball so that you guys could take a good look at that. This is done in the burgundy resin, really pretty resin. It's a nice deep color. I think in this picture it's coming out a little redder than it than it is. It is a much a much truer burgundy. I'll try to get it up close and see if it uh, will give you a truer color. I mean, that's truer to the color that it is. Nice, deep, rich color. The um, the roller ball is a screw cap. Same plastic clip. All the uh, all the accents are exactly the same. And this these very easy to change out. So if you need the roller ball, this definitely comes in a uh, a nice setup. Really pretty. And it also comes in a ballpoint. And this ballpoint he gave me is the matte finish. The matte finish, I like that a lot. I would have loved to have seen um, the fountain pen, the rhodium trim with the matte finish. I know there is one out there. Um, but in, in any case, it's just another finish. This one's a simple click. And it's very a very positive click too. I like that. It's nice. You know that it's open. But it's got a good feel to it. Same classic clip on this one as well. It follows suit. Trim ring is the same, just uh, obviously smaller, but really nice. I mean, it makes for a beautiful, beautiful set. You know, and a lot of people, uh, especially around the holidays, are looking to buy not just a fountain pen, but a set for uh, for someone as a gift. Hint, and it worked out really well. I'll do a writing sample with the with the ballpoint as well as the roller ball, just to give everyone a good idea. Um, but that's, you know, pretty much it. As far as size comparison, I will give you, here's my, uh, Aurora Optima. You can see, let me back up just a little bit, bring you guys down, sorry for the shake. <clears throat> as far as size, um, a Twisby, I'll use a Twisby 580, totally different class, but it's okay. It'll give, a lot of people have that pen, so it's easy to decipher, you know, size differences and stuff like that. as far as length and Mont Blanc 146 very popular pen as well and it falls into I think that category pretty close pretty close I mean the size is about the same the um, weight is about the same as well the 146 being a piston filler which I know a lot of people like but I'm not really, uh, I don't really have a preference to either one. I do like the fact that you can change the colors in these much easier. They're super easy to clean. Um, I, I have not, and I will not, disassemble this one. But I will assume that like my Optima, it's a, uh, a straight pull out on this feed and nib, which makes it really easy for cleaning. Really easy. So if you want to flush out a color completely and make sure that there's no remnants, and you want to do that, you can do that. And that's about it. So, I'll come right back and I'll get us a writing sample. And we're back. Today we're going to use uh, Clairefontaine paper, which I usually use. I'll start with the fountain pens first. This will be rhodium plated. Both of these are medium nibs. I tried reading the nib itself and there was no marking as to whether it was extra fine, fine, medium, or broad which are the sizes these come in, uh, but I couldn't find it. So, But I could tell pretty much that it's a, um, a medium nib. It will probably write, as we'll find out now, is a western nib. So let's start here. This is the Aurora. I almost misspelled Aurora just now. That would have been <laughs> not good. Talentum. And this is the uh, classic series. Ink used, it will be Aurora Blue, a blue I use very, 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 very often. I like this blue a lot. The nib is a typical Aurora nib. It's got a tiny bit of tooth, if you listen. But I like that. 
I think Dan Smith once described a pen that writes like this as, as a like a pencil that's just broken in and this definitely has that same feel much like the one that I have writes to a true medium as well Um, now, does it have any give? It's 14 carats, so it might have a little tiny bit. This is not a flex pen. It's not even meant to deviate. This is like an everyday pen, I think, that you would use at work or for journaling. That would be my perspective. Grip section's very, very comfortable in here. Really nice. Easy to write with. Yeah, this this is this would be a really nice pen to journal with. Very consistent ink flow, no skipping. I can't write write quickly, so I'll scribble quickly, and there's no skipping. Really nice. I love this color combination. Again, it's personal preference. It's nice though that you can get either or. We'll try the gold again. This is going to be a medium nib. I'll give you a quick sample in this. Sorry. <clears throat> Same exact nib again, this one's not rhodium plated, that's the only difference. This one is a little toothier, if you, and you can hear that. I'm going to look at any of these under a loop, but I know the tines are aligned fine. But again, that's something that is known to, uh, as a trait to Aurora, that their nibs can be a little bit toothy. And it's not a bad thing at all, it's just their trait. It's a nice wet rider, I can get some, some shading. Tiny bit of a line variation, but again, it's not what it's for. Really nice, excellent writer. Like I said, really very comfortable. Um, I didn't post it when I wrote. I wouldn't like this posted when I write. For me, it's a little back heavy. I mean, if you were going to do a quick signature, it would be fine. But otherwise, I would not. And it sits, it, the cap does sit fairly deep on here, where my finger is. So it definitely isn't going to pop off or anything. It's very secure. All right, so let's have a first. Let's try a rollerball as part of our fountain pen day review. Again, it's a screw cap. Posts exactly the same as the fountain pen, same depth. I'll use it unposted. And I like that they followed suit with the uh, with that with that classic Aurora clip. Really, really, really like that a lot. That's one of the things that drew me to. Uh, to the roar that I have. So, this is Rollerball. And it's, it's strange to write with one. It's really slippery. I haven't written with a Rollerball in so long. I just misspelled it. It's smooth, I'll tell you that. Really smooth. And it's got the same section, so it is comfortable to write with. So if, you know what, if you have to have a rollerball, and there are times that you do, it does write really nice, and, and it would really uh, certainly complement the fountain pen as part of a set. Very nice. Again, this I can see in the shot here that this is, it's redder. Um, Try to block out some of the light. It's redder than it is because the, this burgundy resin is the same one that will come with the fountain pen. And I just can't capture the true color. I'll try and make sure that the pictures in this video, the still pictures that will come up, um, are true to what it is. This is very nice. I like that a lot. And finally, we'll do the pull point, which I love this finish on it. Really nice, that matte finish. So, this...
definitely not scratchy at all. So that is your ro roller ball. And again, really nice. It follows, like I said, it follows suit. I'll say it again, but the fact that it's got the same matching clip, the same uh, accents on it, really nice. Very well done. I like the detail in them. Uh, if I had to have one, it'd be really nice to have. And again, this makes for a great set. Very pretty. Um, the pricing on these, that I forgot. Gold, fountain pen. These are retail prices, obviously. When you shop around, you'll, get, you'll do better. Um, you're going to find the gold is $475 retail. The chrome version is $375 retail. Rollerball is $325 retail. And the ballpoint is $250 retail. I figured I'd say retail every time since I did it twice already. Um, but again, I have the Optima. It's an Aurora. I love the brand. Beautiful pen, and the Talentum follow suit. Really well made. Very nice. All the accents are pretty on it. The finishing touches that they did are nice. I I mean, well polished. Beautiful nibs. Love the nib. I love that. Let's see if I can get you one more close-up of that. I love the etching on this nib. Really, really, really nice. Hold on. I'll get some close-up shots of that as well. But really, really pretty nibs. Nice, smooth. So on that note, we'll say that this will be the end. And I want to thank Kenro for allowing me to borrow these. That was terrible that were allowing me to uh, borrow these to review and their continued support with Fountain Pen Day because these are really beautiful pens. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.